I'm making a spicy Thai pork dish using minced pork. Now I've already got an onion, a diced onion, cooking in a tablespoon of oil in my frying pan. And I'm going to add my pork. This is British pork. And it needs about 10 minutes to cook down with the onion. So I'm just going to break up the pieces of meat just into smaller chunks. And as this cooks away, it's going to pick up a little bit of colour and it'll be ready when it's uh, opaque. Now the mince is ready, I'm going to add some Thai flavour. So I've got a Thai paste here, so everything's done for you, all mixed together. Lots of chilli and lemongrass and kaffir lime leaves. And I like my curries quite spicy, so I'm going to add about three teaspoons of the paste. If you like something a bit milder, just add about two. That needs just one to two minutes just to start cooking out a little bit. The warmth in the pan really starts bringing out the spices in the paste. So next I can add my coconut milk. I've got a 400 gram tin here. In that goes. That gives it really authentic Thai flavour and lovely, lovely texture too. So this needs about 10 minutes to bubble away with the lid on and then we can come back and add the rest of our ingredients. So after 10 minutes, the mixture's reduced right down. It's smelling fantastic. I'm just going to add a pack of stir-fried vegetables. So there's no chopping to do, it's really, really easy. In that goes. And then some Thai fish sauce. And this is a fantastic condiment. It really brings Thai food to life. And it gives a nice salty flavour, but a fantastic all-round taste too. So just going to mix that in. Just fold it in slowly. So this just needs about five minutes. Just stir it every now and again, just to get those vegetables cooked through, but still with a little bit of bite. I'm ready to serve the spicy Thai pork. I've got some long grain rice already cooked in my bowl here. And this is enough to serve four, so you can be pretty generous with the amount. A little extra bit of carrot, I think, on the top, just to finish it. And then just to garnish, I've got some fresh coriander, which you can either finely chop or just scatter over a few leaves.